JCU is a great place to be studying aquaculture. It's um, a hub of world experts and, and they're super willing to help teach you and help guide you on that journey. And on top of that, it's situated in a perfect position in the tropics, being that we're close to industry and that a lot of aquaculture uh, globally is conducted in the tropics. To be able to situate your research in the same context and in the same place is really special. Teaching occurs at the Teaching Research Nexus. Our teachers engage students in their research wherever possible. So as a master's student, you will have the opportunity to learn about theory and practice in the classroom, and then to apply what you've learned through engaging in the research community. We collaborate with researchers, industry and communities across the tropics and the world. And really, as a postgraduate researcher, we bring you into that broader community, which will become your own network and set you up for your career. The amount of individual attention that I get from all my lecturers is great. It's, it's astounding. I mean, I haven't had that before in my undergrad where it's been such open communication and I've been kind of guided so well. Chao Xu is my coordinator and he's had me for a few subjects now. I think he felt comfortable in my ability to feed the animals properly and take care of them. So I've ended up with a lot of fish to feed. <laughs> I think that's one of the uh, best things here at SCU. Students and staff, supervisors, they really uh, mix well. We are the leaders in tropical aquaculture. We've got such a fantastic research environment and we've got an amazing connection with the industry. Our contacts with the industry really benefit students, both from the local employment perspective and building their global networks. We're really, really well placed to bring the next generation of graduates through to a lot of success in the industry. My honours project was looking at abalone. It's been estimated that around $20,000 per year um, per farm is spent simply for monitoring stocks throughout production. In discussion with the farmers, this concept of a hands-off method of assessing them during production was kind of born. And so I learnt how to um, create a machine learning model, implementing artificial intelligence to assess these abalone stocks throughout the production cycle using images. The model is being applied on farm um, in a prototype form to see applications that are born through the research we're conducting is the most amazing result and it's very satisfying. We have access to the facilities to run screening for pathogens, genetic sequencing, genetic analysis, bioinformatics analysis. We've got a, a supercomputer here which allows us to analyse huge amounts of genetic data. There's great laboratories, there's mentors within those laboratories which can help guide you and teach you new lab skills. There's a plethora of facilities here. You could do anything that you could imagine. <laughs> It's the Marine and Aquaculture Research Facility. It's where all our research happens. Our students can come in and have hands-on experience working with multiple tanks and understanding how much to feed or when to change filters or when to notice when something isn't correct. And all these skills that you get are so applicable after uni. Our staff and students at JCU work across many, many countries throughout the Pacific, Southeast Asia and all along the Australian coast. And as a student, you have the opportunity to design your research in such a way that will give you the opportunity to work in those countries. Freshwater sharks and rays, um, so globally they're really threatened. They're sort of limited now to these really remote rivers and these tropical faraway lands. What I do basically is go to those remote areas and try and find these species and document their population status and uh, the threats they're facing. James Cook University was a great place to do my PhD studies because um, it's centrally located within the sort of Pacific tropics, which makes it possible to travel to places like Papua New Guinea or into Asia to do research. It's the absolute hub of tropical marine science. You have an opportunity to be lectured by some of the most prominent people in their fields. The JCU campus is amazing. It's 
so tropical. We've got the mountains in the background. The weather is amazing. Wallabies are hopping around everywhere. Being able to spend time outside in such a beautiful environment is a relief when you spend a lot of time in the lab pipetting or at the computer coding. The landscape in Townsville is one of my favourite things about it. I love the mountain ranges here and all the waterfalls you can go hunt down. I love the size of Townsville because it has everything that you could possibly need. In terms of things that I like to do on the weekend here, there's so many options. You could go over to Magnetic Island, you could go hiking up at Paluma. I live out at the beach, so every morning I'm able to walk my dog along the beach. Aquaculture studies is an area that you can, as a student, be skilled in solving our future world challenges. What I've done is, is tried to solve past problems. The future generation have to solve problems that we don't even have yet. And I think our role is giving them the skills, giving them the confidence, give them the process to have a crack at it. <laughs>